market update here on the 14th. So uh, if I'm looking at this chart, I'm leaning bearish. The reason why is I see five waves. And yes, this move does retrace for a second wave all the way back down past the 0.61 fib. But this move is also corrective. And so I see this move as A, B, and I'm looking for a C wave down here to 407, 408. I think this move right here has been very, um, a big bull trap. And I think that the most likely scenario is we get a bear trap down here to 407, 408. And this ends up being a second wave. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to the high 420s probably. So that's what I see. It could end up being ABC as well, but that would just mean this whole thing is going to be long and drawn out. So A, B, and then a C wave down. That's possible too, but probably not as likely. I think the five wave move should finish off this whole corrective move that started in October. So I think we're probably setting up for a second wave to finish down here. Third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave up to the high 420s. But again, I'm not um, in SQQQ or the only thing I'm short in right now is in Tesla. But um, yeah, I mean, it could keep on melting up past 415 tomorrow. But I would say even if it does that, I think it's still a B wave. And it could still come all the way down here to 407, 408. If it does keep on melting up, then the next target would just be 420 again. So does that move look very impulsive to you, like a third wave? Does not to me. So that's why I say we should get a C wave down here to 407, 408 tomorrow. And then, you know, everyone's going to be excited and then they're going to get their, it's going to be another bear trap and this may go higher. So that's what I see on SPY on Tesla. Same thing. Um, after hours is actually up. This move is crazy though. It's up over... It's up like maybe 12% since yesterday morning. And I think it's the same thing though. It is A, B, C wave down here. Maybe we'll just get a normal flat. Maybe it goes all the way up here to 214 and then sells off back down to 187. But again, I can't see this as a five wave move. Um, I guess it's possible this is one, two, and we're working on a third wave. That's possible, I guess, if it's a nested. So it'd be one, two, and then we would have one, two, three, four, five. That's possible, but again, just looking at SPY and how that is a corrective move, I would say Tesla is similar. So I'm looking for like one, maybe down here to the bottom of this candle here at 182.75, not breaking below that, ABC. And then from there, I'm not really sure yet, but that could just be all the correction that Tesla gets. And this whole thing ends up being A, B, and we get a C wave higher. Or it's going to be like this, A, B, and a C wave lower like that. So that's what I see on Tesla. I'm short. Uh, I'm not sure about a stop above the high. I also um, bought my puts with some of the premium that I got. I sold some 150 puts for April. So I got like 1200 bucks for that. To buy one of the two puts I have, I have some 170 puts, I think, for April. Um, so they're a little bit lower than I would have liked, but that was before I thought, when I thought it was a five wave move and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. If I get the move down here though, they should be pretty profitable. And again, I'll probably just see how it goes. Maybe a stop above the high right here. So QQQ, same game plan as spy. I would expect a sell off down here if it keeps on going higher instead in a very corrective fashion. And I'll be looking for 314 
and potentially topping out at 317 on the high side maybe 321 so if we zoom out here on higher time frames I would say it probably makes a little bit more sense Let's see we got I think the 1.61 fib is right here so at 317 I would say 317 is the better target let's look at the 1.61 fib though of this first wave so the 1.61 fib is sitting at yeah 314 sell off 317 is probably my target so again, looking for the move down here first though, before it starts melting up. So I think the people that are in their calls or in their bullish positions are probably gonna get rug pulled one more time before we start melting up. Apple um, just looks like it could potentially be, it's kind of a weird pattern right now. I'm just looking for it to probably come down a little bit. And if not, then this is the bottom right here and it's already started it's move higher the target is 162 so it's got a ways to go but maybe they're just keeping it down for the eventual push and spy Microsoft and I'll show you the dollar here in a second I think the dollar is showing that the bearish um, lean is probably the right way Microsoft we got a fourth wave here but again, it looks to me like it could be eh, it could be a five-wave move right there. Even if it's a five-wave move, then so if this is a five-wave move, then I would expect at least a retrace down to 267 to 266. That's actually probably what's going to happen. Probably a second wave. This is probably the bottom of the fourth wave. And we're probably looking at it like one, two, three, four, five. Target is 292. All right, the dollar. The dollar is showing a little bit of strength. Well, it ended up flat today, but since February 1st, a little bit of strength. I think it's an ABC move, though which means we have one more move higher and it hit between the 0.38 and 0.5 fib. I'm looking for 105 to 106 as a top for this C wave. And then from there, we'll have to see what happens, but um, it could end up being like that, or that could just be the top and it goes lower. So I would expect probably though, I think the correction's got to be a little bit longer than that. I would say this makes more sense. So that's what I see in the dollar. The dollar is bearish, in my opinion, short term. And so that's good for a correction tomorrow. And then if it starts, I, I don't know about after that, but um, somehow we're going to get some kind of melt up and spy. So maybe this just shoots up over the next couple of days. And then we sell off as spy melts up. So again, I'm not like super confident on this. It could melt up higher, but again, the most likely scenario is we come back down here in Tesla, SPY, 407, 408, QQQ to 300, Microsoft to at least 267, and the dollar, I'm looking for 105 to 106. So a tricky day trading for me personally. I made all my money on the SQQQ that I talked about in the last video. And then I got stopped out. I gave some profits back, about 25% of my profits on this move. This is pretty painful. Uh, pretty painful. I entered where these lines were on this move right here. This is a five-wave move on the one-minute time frame. So I don't really like that entering on a one-minute time frame, but I did it on this time. Entered on the 50% retracement and it came all the way back down here. My stop was at 24.23 and it came down to 24.23.
and then it reversed higher. So sometimes I think it's better to do this, put it at the 1.23 fib. You might lose a little bit more money, but those algos are just, you know, trying to get all the stops out before they do the big move the other way. So I made that mistake today. I put my stop too close to the bottom here. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, expectation is lower tomorrow, but overall higher. If we do get a uh, move higher from here, it's going to be the third wave. But again, this does not look like a third wave. So we should get a move lower. That's it. Let me know how you did today. You make any money? Um, like, subscribe for more updates, usually during the day and definitely after the market. And I will see you in the morning.